via email, advice for greens going to 2023. Um, get involved in your community struggles. Start looking for local elections, which happened in a lot of places in 2023. And in the 2024 uh, state legislative elections and congressional elections. And start getting organized now. You know, start thinking about who would be a good candidate, what you need to run a serious campaign, and fight back. I mean, people got to get off the couch, get from behind the computer screen all the time, and get out and talk to people, do public activities that support our policies, support our demands, and carry that into elections. Uh, that's the only way we're going to, you know, make inroads into legislative bodies where then we have a permanent seat, a permanent platform to continue raising our issues and win more people to our side. So I think that's one piece of advice. Another is raise the profile of uh, ranked choice voting, especially proportional ranked choice voting for legislative bodies. We're making great strides on that. Going into 2020, we just had a couple dozen local jurisdictions that were using ranked choice voting. Now we have over 100 because we've won it in many localities and at the state level in uh, most recently in Nevada, which added something like 20 counties, maybe 17 counties, 20 municipalities and 19 school districts, in addition to the statewide offices. Um, so we're making great strides. It's a reform we can win. It's popular. Once people use it, they like it. Um, so I think that's one of the emphases uh, we should be putting. The time seems to be right for that. Uh, people, given the background of you know an attempted coup and voter suppression and absence of voting rights, we need to advance the struggle for democracy, including voting rights. And we should you know never let the voters forget that the Democrats had both houses of Congress and they didn't get voting rights passed in this last session that's ending today, I guess. Uh, at least the 117th Congress is gonna end in a day or two. Um, they have both houses, but they let the Senate filibuster, which means the Republicans veto basic voting rights. So the Democrats, you know, maybe they wanna keep that on the table as something they can campaign on in the future, but we need voting rights now. And beyond that, fair elections where every party gets its fair and proportional share of representation in government. And the Democrats, as well as the Republicans are against that. That's our issue. So it should be one of our leading issues. And we can raise that in cities, towns, counties, states, school districts, as well as at the federal level. So I think that's uh, one of the issues I think we should emphasize. Along with climate, healthcare, Medicare for all is enormously popular. I mean, we got the issues. And, but people aren't gonna know about it or uh, support us if we're not out there uh, active in issue campaigns between elections and then in the elections with our own candidates.